Hi, welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing the next phase in the KZ um, rebuild project, which is phase four, and we're going to be showing you how to install the brake system on this Tony car. So let's get to it. Okay, so we have here the front brake lines, rear brake lines, rear brake caliper, front caliper is already on the cart. This is the master cylinder, it's the same on the KZ as it is on the 401 and the 801. Brake rod, the piston actuation system with which is for adjustable front to rear, safety cable and the hardware. First up we're going to put the master cylinder on the car. So we've just got two M6 cap screws there, they are countersunk into the bushes on the chassis. Push that little guy on there and then install the nut and washer on each one. Next up we're going to be installing the rear caliper. Now also to take note to use Loctite or some other thread locking compound uh, to lock your caliper on so the bolts, if they do come loose they don't fall out but make sure they're really tight because it's pretty important obviously to your safety. First up we're going to put the Loctite on the bolts. So there's a little bit of Loctite there and a little bit of Loctite there. Then we're going to slip the caliper over the brake disc which is not tight yet so you can get the brake master cylinder into ah, caliper into position simply drop the bolts piece of cake Okay, so now you can just grab your six millimeter T-bar and do this little sucker up for your brake disc. Now your hub is, brake hub is all bolted onto your axle. Next up, we're gonna install the brake rod and the piston actuator assembly. First up, remove the nut off the brake rod and you're just gonna have to push that through there, come under the tie rod and it goes through this top hole. And then out the back here, okay, spin your uh, nut back on. Do, 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 do. These guys, they just push in through the rubber boots. I know nothing super high tech there. Okay, and then the brake rod just spins into this little guy. Now, obviously, this isn't is adjustable for length, depending on where you've got your pedal. Up to a certain point, then you can change it. You can buy a piece of all thread and cut and make your own piece of um, rod here. Otherwise, you could use the standard one, which is chrome and nice, but this diameter, you can't thread it because it's actually smaller than five millimeters, uh, or six millimeters, sorry, so you can't put more thread on it. And uh, now to the pedal end of the rod, just get your little uh, bolt here that comes with your Tony cart. Push it through the rod, then over here. Washer goes on first. Then the nylock nut. Do those two up. And then install the little safety clip. That's a wrap. Lastly, Make sure that these adjustment nuts are locked off. And you're done. Okay, so now we're doing the brake lines. We're going to start with the rear. Place the brake line onto the fitting and just screw it on with your fingers. Make sure not to cross thread it. Here's a fine thread. Go be 14 millimeter ring spanner. Just nip that up for now. Then you're going to go onto the back. Same for the rears. Just push the fitting onto the car. Just screw it on by hand, it goes on pretty easy. Same for this side. Grab your 14 and then lock those off. You do have to do them up pretty tight. Once again, you don't want these things coming loose. And they've got a seat that seals the system. So you want to make sure that it's all hard 
and tight. And lastly, put this little guy through there on the chassis. Stop the vibrations from it dragging on the ground and stuff. And do them up with your T-bar and ratchet spanner. Next up, we're gonna install the front brake line. Slide the brake line across the car into position. Just get that one started. These here are for the floor tray, which we haven't put in yet. We'll do that last. Okay, so now that they're all in position, just lock them off with your ring spanner. Double check the other one. Obviously you want these pretty tight, don't want them coming loose while you're driving, that's for sure. Safety never takes a holiday. We've got this uh, safety cable that's got to be installed in case that brake rod ever snaps. You wouldn't want to be doing 150 plus kph and run out of brakes, okay? It's going to hurt, so you've got to have one of these. So start by feeding the, bra the line brake safety cable through this uh, part of the piston actuator system. And then underneath the brake caliper, there's a small hole for it to travel through. I've just got to try to get it in there. Righto. And comes out the other side. So grab your pliers and just pull the cable through. Next up, install the cable through here in this cable clamp and this is the old cable off the car before we got it stripped and and then put this guy through there push that guy through there move the cable clamp up and then grab your t-bar and just simply do up those bolts and it's all good Lastly, grab a couple of zip ties just to neaten the job up and that will hold the safety cable to the rod, stop it all flopping around. And you're done. Okay, thanks for watching our brake installation video. If you need to watch how to bleed this system, check out the link here. In one of our, one of our other videos, we show you how to bleed brakes. If you want to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, we are at Power Republic, or you can go to our website and buy yourself maybe a hat or a t-shirt. I don't know, just saying. And uh, that's www.powerpublic.com.au. Until next time, see you in the next video.